guys are right now, you are in the right outer the outer colonies of the uh, ruin the Shadow Kingdom districts. Yeah, I didn't want to sound it too hunger game, so I, pff, sections <laughs> outer <laughs> territories of the Shadow Realm of Ruin. You're at it. You've all gathered at a tavern called the what Dawning is Night. The what? The Coming Night. That there we go. You're at a tavern called the Coming Night. Oh god. <laughs> the rule thirty four. <laughs> okay, never mind, I'm asking the bartender was it crap he was thinking when he made that. <laughs> <laughs> I kinda don't wanna know, but I'm still asking. Because you know, you have to. I'm disgusted yet intrigued. Oh wow. Not intrigued. Just disgusted. I'm also just disgusted. <laughs> he explains to you that his family name is Cummings. It's C O M I N G. No, oh, yeah, like Cummings. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The the S. It's the coming and their party before yeah. they were kicked out from the Shining. Well, I I they were I part of the knights oh, of the, the royal. Oh, so okay. they just chose to be the coming knight. Yeah, that makes sense. Cool, dude. Change your name. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled to convince the bartender that changing his name is a bad idea. I rolled to convince him that it's a good idea. I rolled to convince him it's a bad idea. Wait, that's two against one. <laughs> I don't know if this. Can so be. the re- the early release night is that better? What? Do I have to? The early release. Talk night. to that woman down there. Okay. Uh, did he change his name? There's a bar no. called the Night with uh, <laughs> me, uh premature ejaculation issue. The e- no, the ED night. <laughs> Ask the bartender like, do you have like a lute? Do you have like a guitar or something like that? Do you have an instrument? I got 17. That people, like, it's a good idea. It's a bad idea. idea. Is there a musician that plays in the bar? <laughs> the pickle dough. I like how we what? made the bar <laughs> super okay, so important. It has dough? no relevance. No, yeah, pickle dough. Pickle dough. It's an actual... Okay. It's an actual... It's, it's, it's a flute. It's, it's like a pickle, but smaller. It makes different sounds. It must be even higher pitch. Anyway... Dang it. it. I was hoping it was like a lute or something, because then I could be like, the strumming knight. See? It, it makes more sense. But... The smiling knight. The fluted knight. <laughs> the forbidden knight. I'm, I'm so glad. I'm so glad they have something smaller than a piccolo, because it's such a relief to find out there's something even more high pitched and annoying than a piccolo. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. I'm just gonna try to roll and see what happens um, on that. Okay. Yeah. I got like eleven total. I'm adding charisma, I think. Da, da. I, got, I, could, I could try to intimidate him into doing that. <laughs> Actually, that would be even better. That would give me a 19. Change your effing name. Alright, I guess I'll intimidate with a 19. Be like, you have to change it. I'm not necessarily implying that I'm going to write the store, but other, but someone's gonna. We're here to have fun, first I, and foremost. I, here to start nothing, I, just I like how we wanted to really start this campaign, and now we're talking to the dude in the bar that's just like, Yo, man, you should keep your name. It's just like, welcome to D&D. It. It the name. He says he's not changing. It's been, this fa- it's been in his family for hundreds of years this way. He's got a 19, can't do it, I say out loud. And I leave. <laughs> well, I, I gotta leave the building. I, I just leave that area. I got a twenty to keep. And you it. leave the conversation. <laughs> I, I just leave the conversation. And as as you walk away, he says, "Get your mind out of the gutter." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my fault. That is a connotation. Oh. <laughs> Lame society. Man, that reminds me of this story of a uh, travel a role playing thread where Why? everybody oh like right there. It was like a message board type thing, and everybody uh, said that their character was sitting in a corner. <laughs> so apparently, the place that they were in must have had like some weird, like star-shaped floor because there were so many corners for everyone to be in. <laughs> As you guys are sitting there, a man dressed. Like any normal person walks up to you. Are you guys all going to sit down at the same table? I forgot that. Uh, How do you guys meet exactly? So let's say, okay, they were trying to, it's a recruiting effort, right? That has gathered us here. So (laughs) there was a, like, uh, a flyer somewhere that was like. No, he, the, don't, you, 
are getting created because the uh, Shadow King saw that you guys have been kicked out, that you were just banished, and he wants to know if you will help. So let's say so that we sent... all got a secret message, and like we're told where to go and what table to sit at. So we all just pull up to the table, and we don't know who anybody is, but we're all sitting there wondering if the people at the table are have also gotten this message. Right. So I left the bartender to his own devices, had a stupid name. <laughs> and then I go to that table because I was supposed to go there to begin with. I just got sidetracked. <laughs> because like I saw, me. I saw like the name of it. I'm like, oh no. no. This won't do. <laughs> All right, would the Twilight Night be better? That was hey, that'd be really cool. weird to say though. Damn, that's cool though. It I works, like that. but I mean, I just wanted to do it because it's funny. Like, I like the Twilight Night. It rhymes. That's neat. The Twilight Fine. Night. It, the bar is called the Twilight Night. <laughs> Known affectionately to the locals as the Twilight. Twilight sparkles. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's let's not ever. So. Things have happened. As you guys are all around the chair, this man comes up to you all cloak and dagger. You notice that he's covered in a. His most prominent features are a cloak and a dagger. <laughs> He's he's got a hood up, his his cloak and his hood and stuff. The base of the cloak is all just jet black. It is accented with red buttons. The trim around the the hood is also all blood red. The trim around the uh the collar is uh all red. Going down the the whole trim of it's just all blood red and it's got a design of just pure dark, just red. This guy looks like a like some Weird villain. He come. He comes up to you. And goes. I should I have. To, do we have to roll to not be intimidated? <laughs> no, he's not trying to be intimidated. As he walks up to the table, he he flicks his uh. He takes his hood off, and he's just a normal person. And walks up to you. Goes. And he goes. I've been sent here by the Shadow King and the Shadow Emperor to ask if you will help in our cause, and you can get back at the Shining Queen Mavra. Right. Do I get Shadow Pace? <laughs> shadow what? Do I get Shadow paid? <laughs> What's in it for us? You want a reward? You guys want money? <laughs> well, I'm currently unemployed, so if you have anything, uh, you know, of the kind, <laughs> then that's fine. Look, man, I'm stealing from people sure. around this time. I'll, I'll work for food. Down. I don't care. Like, obviously, obviously, work don't come free. No, so you guys will be compensated. So com 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 <laughs> compensated. You'll be you will be confiscated. <laughs> I don't want to be confiscated. Compensated. <laughs> I hate being dyslexic. Everybody does that. And for your work, you will get you will get paid, and <laughs> you can there is you can get keep what you get from whatever have you. Awesome. I'll work for food. I don't care. I will also work for food. And just, and just for the all note that you guys were at one time, you could use all light magic, but the Queen Mavra completely stripped you of that ability. Yeah, so I'm feeling a little down in the pits about that, so my character... He goes, strike. also to make up for this, I am willing to give you shadow amulets that will allow you to control... And then eventually learn how to use the shadow abilities <gasps> that are pretty much they're just they have same counterparts in the light and dark. Did you teach me shadow magic? That's basically what these things will allow you to control. I can be a magic man again. Finally, <laughs> it's all dependent on how strong you guys wills are. I won't let you down. I might. But I will try not to. Yeah, well, see, my character only cares about learning and using magic. So, you promise me magic, I'm your man. He says, come with me and I will present you with the, the amulet that you choose to control what element that you want. Jeez, this is a mess. This, how you start. So, you got, do you guys get up and follow this <laughs> shadow envoy? I roll to stand up. <laughs> you don't have to roll to stand up. You just say, do you, you roll? roll to I got stand. a six. Uh oh. You kick the chair out and you eat the table. Nice. <laughs> I roll to stand up. 
<laughs> Can I do it? Oh no! That's the wrong. I got a nine. Where did you, you stand up, but you knock over your chair. <laughs> yeah, okay, that sounds about like me. You want to roll too wide? Roll or the stand, stand up. up. Roll the stand up. up. I'm just gonna stand up. <laughs> Why it stands up? Oh, Scoot the chair back with no one to I whisper. As it does that. We're the real losers. <laughs> Oh my god. The losers were the friends we made along the way. Oh god! <laughs> As you, you guys follow him, you're walking, he's, he starts to explain the history of what's going on. I, I, I zone out. I'm not gonna lie. I zone out. That's what I did whenever we explained it earlier. <laughs> that. I rolled the zone out. That's okay, he doesn't notice. <laughs> Roll a deception check. I, I also. Zone out with Skip, and guess I'm kind of following the group. I am paying laser like focus. He explains that the amulets that you were holding were forged by the Shadow King and the Shadow Emperor. Wait, when did we get amulets? Why is he foraging for. We years? just covered that. Are you paying no attention? <laughs> like I said, I zoned out. <laughs> He's giving you these amulets that control, that allow you to use these shadow powers before. Your body learns how to use the magic itself without the amulets. Yes! I'm all about that magic, about that magic. No trips. Okay. No so, melee. Doesn't exist here. He goes to explain that after getting kicked out, the Shadow King and the sh was the first to be kicked out and to be granted the ability by the the Guard the god that the shadows worship, the shadows use, mm. the one who protects. All right. So as you walk on, you learn the history that hey, everybody, not everybody can use shadow magic, not everybody can master it to a certain degree, and only most people can only learn one aspect of it. The shadow emperor, the shadow king, and the shadow king's uh, three commanders, his right hand men are also the only ones who can use more than one shadow ability. Mm. Not all shadow beings are friendly. And not all shadow beings are friendly. There are classes. <laughs> shadow, shadow beings! Beings. I said beings, nope. damn it. Yeah, but no, I'm no, telling no. out, so I heard it's beings. beans. And that's what I'm calling them. It's <laughs> have classes. There are shadow fiends, which are the most dangerous. Fiends and beans? Yes. <gasps> they, they are more adept... <laughs> into using shadow there's shadows that they can control there are just shadow beasts which are kind of just normal typical they're they're conscious they know kind of what they're doing but they're really angry and pissy all the time they will just lash out if you get near them right <laughs> <laughs> the shadow cry babies <laughs> All right. Then there are just uh, just shadow creatures. They are. I want to learn how to be a shadow fiend. Show me how to be a shadow fiend. You don't want to be but a the, shadow fiend. But the shadow fiend master did not answer. He just kept on shadow fiending. <laughs> <laughs> the shadow fiends are ravenous, evil. They oh. they want to destroy anything that is not them. Oh, okay. So yeah, are, those are the monsters that the. Yeah, uh, sorry. Those are the monsters that the. Uh, Queen was really afraid of. Yes. But the Queen, Mavra, she wanted to just kill anything that was not her light. That did not follow the smiling god. Well, I'm certainly not smiling about that god now. So, as you guys, he leads you to this cave that he's been, you know, like staying in for a few nights. Cheaper than a hotel. Yep. As you get closer... He takes this little, looks to be like a gold amulet out of his pocket, grabs it, holds it in his hand, and squeezes it. Is it squishy? No, he just kind of <laughs> grips it. I'm slightly disappointed at the lack of squish. <laughs> <laughs> as, as he does that, this haze around the cave just disappears. You all walk in. He goes, I now have 13 amulets here that each have a different power that you can use. What power would you like? Oh, jeez. Oh, man. What do they do? I need, like, a list if you can name them. I have an ability that you create shields around yourself. You can shield the party once you learn how to use it. You can use basic shadow energy to 
throw like small energy balls. You can heal. You can heal people with it. You can once you learn how to use it better, you can completely shroud your entire body in shadow and just completely disappear for five minutes. Wait, what was that about healing? You can slightly heal people or anybody you choose. Well, back when I could use light magic, I was a healer, so I'd start with that. He brings out an amulet that looks like a small golden shield with a wolf's head engraved on it. Sweet. Hands it to you. Awesome. With great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> with great power comes, if it moves, destroy it. <laughs> he, also, he says that he has one that allows you to use the elements of the world around you to enchant weapons and make them your own to put and you can focus on one kind of specific shadow magic that you have to control to make it it will become stronger. Can I make it scream? <laughs> yes, you can make it scream. I'm in. He says once you learn loud enough you can actually shout loud enough to shatter boulders. Nice. Or people. Oh boy, that'd be a real powerful scream. He gives that to uh oh she should probably introduce yourselves too. To each other? Yeah, yeah, probably. To, her, to everybody. They don't know who the heck these guys are. My name's Felix Goodman. I'm, I am I was a healer back before I got kicked out uh, of, of this, the Sunlit Kingdom. Um, yeah, I was real, pretty good at it. I, I love magic and learning magic. And, you know, I like being helpful. And, uh, you know, I just want to just wanna do some good. I'm Gizmo Blackpop. I fight for money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Schultz. I was a... Petty thief. I was really hoping you just stay silent. I <laughs> <laughs> couldn't think of anything. I am Schultz. I... What did you used to be? I am Schultz. <laughs> My name's Schultz. It's and the I... Brutal Group. <laughs> <laughs> but what is your profession? <laughs> I am Schultz. <laughs> He's the most Schultz member of the DK group. <laughs> he he hands you an amulet that looks much kind of just like a golden lightning bolt. Golden lightning bolt. Can you sell it? No. I'm not asking that. <laughs> <laughs> and so he stressed that do not lose these one of a kind shadow uh, artifacts. What is it like? What like the one I'm handing you is just it's a looks like a small Mine's golden lightning bolt. Mine's friggin' sweet. It's a shield with a wolf on it. Where'd it go? It's in my pocket now. <laughs> a shield? It, it's, it's a, a tiny little shield. shield. Then why is it in my hand? <laughs> How? What? You haven't even. You have to roll to do that. <laughs> then why is it in my hand? <laughs> you can't just be uh, like. Oh, this was a boss enemy. Oh, well, that's interesting. <laughs> I just noticed that he's dead. <laughs> wow, this game is easy. <laughs> <laughs> he goes on to describe what he has. I have another amulet called the Shadow's Mantle. This is a dangerous, more, more, it allows you to become stronger, faster whenever you activate it, but you can lose yourself in it and lose control and start attacking and killing anything and everything in front of you. Friend, foe, inanimate objects. You use it too much and it can consume you. And you will become, you know, they're just shadow feet, an uncontrollable killing machine. That's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds boring. Shadow mantle? Why not shadow woman till in sexism now? <laughs> I don't say that in the game, I just. <laughs> just to be clear, that's OOC. <laughs> Says that I have one, it allows you to manipulate the shadows to create copies of yourself. You can make your butt, you can. That form your body on any other black surface, anything that has to do with shadows or darkness. Ooh, sounds fun. I call that one. He hands you one that looks like a fist, a closed fist. <laughs> on the back of the hand is a great horned owl. It wore, it's a black owl on the back of the golden fist to make the feature. Nice. You can wear it as a necklace, you can hold it as long as you keep it on you for right at the moment before you learn how to use 
the magic without it, you need to have this with you in order to use I it. Drop it. Uh, oops. <laughs> I roll to drop it. <laughs> I roll like to pick not. it up. I just, I roll to drop he it pulls like out a needle and thread and says, "I'll keep you from dropping it." <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I will sew that shit to your body. <laughs> uh, I'll just take this tr- thread so I can kind of make a necklace. <laughs> I'm using mine as a cloak clasp because that's neat. <laughs> You're a nerd. Yes. I don't like this guy. Do we have to travel with him? Yes. We'll see if you're still whining after I save your ass from a fo- ma- uh, fatal wound. Yeah, for a, ma- a fatal wound. <laughs> <laughs> at, uh, at, or at a higher level, you can actually reattach limbs to get cut off. Nice. Alright, so where's our first encounter? The first, we are going to the uh, Sapphire Kingdom. By the way, what was your name, Mr. Sir? Shadow Man Sir? He is the Shadow Master. <laughs> Let's leave it at name, that. Let me know if he's not going to give us his name. Because <laughs> I got one for him. Oh, let's hear it. Becky. <laughs> <laughs> I vote Becky. Becky. I'm going to call you Becky. What's up, Becky? No, no. Line, we'll line, line lead what? <laughs> Remember Becky? Yeah. And? I'll just scream that every time, then. <laughs> the work thing, we don't talk about that. <laughs> Exactly. And we don't discuss those things here. Yeah. This is a safe haven. <laughs> Just call me the Shadow's Envoy. Oh, no, yeah, All right, Rebecca. Good, Mr. Envoy. Sounds good, Mr. Envoy. <laughs> I, I lean over to Cleric. You're still Felix Goodman, right? Yes. All right, nice. And I, I just whisper very quietly, and I don't think that I need to roll to do this. I, <laughs> <laughs> I whisper under my breath. Stop, Anybody who calls me Becky. No, he didn't hear me say that. But he heard Wyatt. I know Wyatt didn't say that. <laughs> you didn't hear him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just you know, rewrite the script as we go. You know? that's, how, that's how these games work, right? right? Anyway, he walked. As she said, "We're gonna go to seeing to see King Horus and Queen Isis by the might of Horus in we have to the Sapphire us. Kingdom." <laughs> so we need to set out as soon as possible. So our mission is to defeat ISIS. <laughs> we not <laughs> to destroy ISIS. We're as in use... the Egyptian gods ISIS that... and Horus. Yeah, just just to be clear, that was OC. <laughs> My character was not yelling, "I'm going to kill your queen." <laughs> <laughs> she is one of twelve. Twelve queens. Both kings and queens of each. When you say OC, are you saying it's out of character? Oh, yeah. OC. No, he's saying Orange County. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking original character, but okay. This statement only applies inside the boundaries of Orange County. <laughs> <laughs> Did you used to live in Orange County? No. There is an Orange County, Florida, but that was like an hour away from where yeah, I Yeah, that's like in Miami. Okay, well, we've got our premise set up here pretty good. I think we can start our first encounter next session. Next time on whatever this channel is called.